Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? What a do, do, do. My name is Amina Abdi Rabar. I am the current host of Hits Not Homework on 98.4 Capital FM. I've been here for five years. Five years, that's a long, long, long time. Um, I never really wanted to join radio. This was never a field I thought I'd ever get into. But when I finished high school, my parents didn't have the funds to take me to uni, or to Kole for that matter. And my brother, um, who was clearing a year after me, um, when he cleared, I was like, because you know, I stayed home for a year, and I was like, you know what, take him to school, my brother, um, and then I'll figure something out. That was the very first step into my career, just believing that something positive was going to happen. And then I started looking for a job. Um, this is me, I've just finished high school, so I've stayed home for a while, I'm looking for a job, what can I do? So I got a job as um, a receptionist, right? And a secretary and a PA, and the, the, it was everything in one. Um, and I got it at this real estate firm. And one time I heard a, um, an ad on the radio, uh, talking about a certificate in radio, I got in and I heard that if you're the best student in the class, you are going to get a slot on radio. And I really worked my butt off to really um, just get that internship position. And I was there for around eight to nine months as an intern. No pay, not doing anything, um, just chilling and waiting for that opportune time when I could get a job. And I ended up getting into entertainment and I did entertainment use um, and Della you know <laughs> helped me a bit and I got trained by so many people and I was so slow learning I don't know why it took me so long to learn it got me into a bit of trouble here and there um, and it was just so frustrating when I started off I sort of stabilized after I did a show called the source with my boy DJ Hassan who ended up being the guy who pushed me to being an MC he literally pushed me to be an MC he was like you're too loud you're too energetic you have a fantastic voice I think you'd make a dope MC and my first gig I was paid 6,000 shillings and at the time it was a lot of money for me so I was bawling out of control and then he also gave me my first opportunity on TV where I started off on KBC doing a show called Homegrown and I can say that it has been a fantastic journey ever since. I'm so grateful. I don't take any of that for granted. I have worked really, really hard to get to where I am. I have had so many moments where I'm discouraged, where you're told either you're a woman, you can't do it or you're told you don't have what it takes or you're told, you know, you're not from that background. When I joined Capital, I never thought that I could join Capital because for me in my head, I thought Capital was, you know, just not for me, it was so Islando. Because the perceived notion is that Capital FM, the listeners, everybody, upper echelon. Me, me, Islando, not connecting, just there's no one who's happy. Um, and when I got the job, I'm not gonna lie, I think that was definitely one of the moments that I knew that you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. The one thing I've noticed with a lot of you is that you feel a bit embarrassed or a bit shy or scared to leave some of your friends who you don't share the same sort of drive and ambition with. I mean, I get it. I want to turn up. I want to turn up here and there. I want to have a good time. But that can't be all we do. You need to work hard and put in a lot of effort. And there is nothing wrong with you separating from your friends who don't make sense to you so that you can elevate, all right? People can tell those who have drive, those who really want to make a difference, those who really want to make a difference in their own lives. You know, you can't just say it. You're saying it, but what are you doing about it? I see so many people who tell me I want to join TV and I want to be a radio presenter like you one day, but what are you doing to try and actualize that dream? When I finally got that grit and understood that greatness is all about um, internal toughness, it got me to where I am today. And I haven't even reached. And I know you've got what it takes. Just believe in yourself. Go ahead right now if you're between the ages of 19 and 25 to capitalfm.co.ke forward slash capital one and try for what could be the biggest gig of your life. You could be the next Capital One. The Capital One, powered by Blaze.